Let's talk about some signs of ovulating versus not ovulating. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Miranda Naylor. I'm a board certified functional medicine doctor and I specialize in women's hormonal health and fertility. I love talking about ovulation because this is the driver of our cycles and gives us so much information about our health. First, what are the signs of ovulating? If you're having clear egg white cervical mucus, stretchy uh, cervical mucus, around ovulation time, you're having a shift in temperatures. If you're doing basal body, uh, basal body temperature tracking, then you're going to have a clear shift in your temperatures throughout your cycle. This should ideally last for about, you know, 12 to 14 days from ovulation to your period. You're having consistent regular periods that come at the same day, the same number of days between your periods ideally and you're having really consistent symptoms whether you're having symptoms or not um, ideally you're not having any uh, but if you are like a little bit of crankiness before your period a little bit of cramping they should be pretty consistent throughout each cycle now signs that you're not ovulating if you're having really irregular cycles this can still be in the normal time frame for a cycle which is 25 to 31 days but maybe it's going 25 days, 27 days, 30 days, and being very variable, or it's really short or really long. That would be under 21 days or over 31 days. Really could be a warning sign that you are not ovulating at all. You're having really inconsistent symptoms. So one cycle you're having bad PMS, the next cycle you're having you know, hot flashes and night sweats and you can't sleep well, you have a brain fog. That could be a sign that you're ovulating sometimes, not all the time, and your symptoms are really variable depending on that. Um, you also wouldn't be getting maybe that cervical mucus change, um, no temperature change if you are doing basal body temperature tracking. Those would be signs that you're not ovulating and something is going wrong um, or you're in perimenopause. So something really important to, to check into. And again, this can give you such amazing information to understand what your body is doing because you're if you're not ovulating or not ovulating consistently, maybe you have PCOS or something like that, you can do things to support your body in a different way and get a regular um, cycle back and really know that you're doing what your body needs to best support your health.